A kind stranger gives a homeless man a warm place to sleep, and he's repaid with theft and vandalism. Corrine Zell talked with the River West Good Samaritan, who says all he wanted to do was help, huh, Corrine? George, police say the suspect sold several items and used spray paint to vandalize the place before he left. This isn't the kind of thank you note Shlomo Siskudov expected after offering a homeless man a place to stay. I was shocked because. Siskudov lent the man a sleeping bag and this space. It's the start of a small synagogue near Holton in Meineke. I just like to help. The visitor was a good house guest for a few nights. But Siskudov started to notice changes. But then eventually I saw that something strange happened, like he brought this table from somewhere. He brought a bike. Then he says the man broke through the ceiling and rummaged through connected businesses, taking checks and leaving behind graffiti. The alleged suspect has a lengthy criminal record. Neighbors are disappointed. I'm really sad that something like that happens when somebody helps people out and they take advantage of it. We just have to be more diligent on who we uh, try to help out. Makes you a little bit depressed, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm usually optimistic about stuff um, and that, you know, I hope that our community comes together and, and really tries to right this wrong, essentially. Siskudov hopes speaking out will make this the last time the man preys on kindness. Now everyone in this community is aware about uh, who is that guy. The victim reached out to the man who was staying at his place, and he denies everything. Police are looking for the known suspect. George and Carol. Thanks, Corrine.